Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to FameMastersVideos.com, taking barbers to the next level. Today, I'll be teaching you guys how to shave. That's something that is very important that will get you a lot of new customers and it will make a lot of money. So, let's get started. First of all, you want to keep your blade in the barbicide liquid to keep it disinfected and sanitized. This is one exercise that if you guys have never shaved anybody, this is one exercise that you can do. You want to place the blade on top of your palm, all right, not like this. This is how you will cut yourself. Go like this and just pass it through your palm. So this is how you can practice passing the blade through your palm. And you should feel the blade going through your palm, making contact, but not cutting yourself, of course. Another exercise that you can do is this right here. Yeah, when an air balloon. Put some shaving cream on it. And just shave the air balloon off. So this is a very good exercise that you can do if you have never shaved anybody. Take an air balloon and with the blade, shave off the shaving cream. And you want to shave it off without popping the air balloon, of course. This is a very good exercise if you have never used the blade, you want to get some practice in, this is a very good way to get started. By the way, using the blade on your shape ups is going to make a big difference. And also using the blade when you do a design makes a big difference. It makes the design stand out and last a couple more days. Same thing with the shape up. And with the beard, of course. So that's it right there, guys. Shaving off the air balloon gives you a good exercise on how to handle the blade. Now, the best way to get good practice on dealing with the blade is on yourself, shaving your own face. Even if you're somebody that doesn't grow a beard like that, I'm pretty sure you're gonna grow a little bit of hair. Instead of shaving it off with a, a Mac 3 or an electric shaver or whatever, use the straight edge and shave your whole face. That's gonna get you a lot of practice. I noticed from experience, the barbers that have a beard, that grow a beard, they're usually the best ones doing somebody else's beard because they have that practice from them doing their own beard. Of course, there's always an exception to the rule. There's always, um, I've seen barbers that don't grow a lot of facial hair and they're super good doing uh, beards. I've seen girls that are really good doing beards too. So I'm gonna do my own beard now. I'm actually gonna do just a goatee. In my other video that I'm doing a blowout on myself, I did my whole beard. So this time I'm only gonna do a goatee. And I'm gonna do my eyebrows, all right? I'm putting on the blade. This is the way you hold the blade, by the way. Pinky here, thumb here, three fingers here. This machine, it heats up the shaving cream for you. It's a really good machine. I strongly recommend it. 
the shaving cream comes out warm and um, the clients really like it and since the shaving cream comes out warm it softens out the pores which makes it easier when you shave somebody so while the shaving cream is softening out my pores I'm gonna do my eyebrows really quick just to show you guys this is something that I tell all my barbers and all my students to shave their own face do their own eyebrows all that especially when they're starting out because that's gonna get them the most practice notice how I stretch the skin a little bit my eyebrows are not a great example because I don't do them thin like that but just to show you guys You don't wanna do your eyebrows or shave when your skin is dry. So keep applying water or shaving cream. The bottom of my eyebrows, I just do them just a little bit. I'm going to do my mustache. you stretch the skin when you're shaving especially when you shave somebody else make sure you don't leave hairs right here so now I'm going to shave the bottom of my neck I'm using my jawbone as my guide so I'm making my line just under my jawbone Now remember guys, some people, they get bumps on their neck. So if you see somebody that has bumps on their neck, ask them, oh, you get irritated and don't use the blade on their neck. Rather use um, some edgers. And if they're adjusted to cut shorter, even better, to clean out the neck. Then the line, you can still make it for the most part. You can still make it with the blade and they won't get irritated. But when you make the line, you just make the line right there. You don't shave it down here if their skin gets irritated. You want to become a barber you should be trying to shave your own face and cut your own hair so you could get the most practice as fast as possible because in this business you want to be really good because you want to make good money see how I'm stretching the skin Notice how I'm keeping the blade at a 45 degree angle or less.
you'll see me trying to cut like this, I will cut myself. Right? Rather gotta put it almost flat against the skin. At a 45 degree angle or less. And you just gotta let it slide through the skin. That's the way you shave. So now I'm going to change the blade. I usually go through two blades, sometimes even three blades, when I'm shaving myself or when I'm shaving somebody. Especially if I'm doing the eyebrows and the shape up, I'll go through two or three blades. Because you want the blades to be sharp. Once the blade starts getting dull, the lines don't come out sharp. So, always keep a sharp blade. Notice how I'm shaving like this, going that way to make these two lines for the goatee. First, I'm doing the outside of the goatee. First, I press firmly and then I shave away. Now, I compare both sides to make sure they're even. For the inside, I'm gonna do an easy one for you guys. I'm gonna just do this right here, a triangle, and then a square right here. By the way, when I'm showing a client um, where they want their line, if I'm doing their goatee, I'll ask them like this, do you want the line here? little bit lower. The reason I use a comb is because it's more precise than if I'm using my finger. It gets confusing if it's up here or down here. With the comb, you can be more precise. You want the line right here or a little bit higher, like that. So you want to stretch the skin, like I said. Here, where your hand or by going like this, Put a good amount of pressure so your lines come out sharp but you don't want to put too much because then you might cut yourself Checking my work. Now I'm gonna do the inside. I'm actually going to change my blade again. I want to make sure this line right here comes out perfect, and the best way to do that is with a new blade. So I stretch the skin. Or like this. Now I'm passing the blade going up. I don't do my neck going up because I feel like I might get bumps and I really don't need it. Um, I don't really do my clients' necks going up unless they ask me to. I think it looks pretty good like this, so that's why I don't pass the blade going up. Now for this part, I pass the blade going in like this. Now guys, if you shave yourself and on the first try you cut yourself, that's completely normal. It happened to me. Do not get discouraged, all right? Practice makes perfect. 
So do not get discouraged if you cut yourself the first time you try this. And don't be scared neither. If especially if you're using a blade like this, a blade handle like this, which I highly recommend, you're not gonna cut yourself deeper than that. That is not a deep cut, guys. I recommend that you guys get one of these. It's step thick powder. Just in case you might cut yourself, you can use this. Um, this right here, you just um, mix it with water and um, apply it on the cut. If you're working with a client, of course, you don't want to use your finger. You want to use a napkin. Take a piece of napkin, you wet it. And then you apply the septic powder and put on the cut to heal the cut faster. Notice how I'm stretching the skin. For this part, I'm going like this into the goatee. I'm going to apply the aftershave. I'm going to use the air with it so it stinks a lot less. This is something that I do for my clients as well. So now I'll be applying the menthol mint finishing cream. This right here prevents my skin from irritating. Plus the mint feels really good on my skin since I just shaved. Like I said guys, this is, to me, is the best way that you could get your practice, especially at first, when you're getting started. Um, when I first came here to Tampa, back in 2001, I got a lot of customers because there were not a lot of barbers that were shaving with the blade. And I was shaving people with the blade, doing the shape ups with the blade, and that helped me a whole lot so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and um, practice and I wish you guys a lot of success take care peace